Okay, this is a GLD on a monthly scale. I don't know how many of you remember this uh, option, this interpretation that I presented uh, quite a few weeks ago. The thing is that uh, coming back to uh, review this wave count, I see that uh, the price action actually continued uh, in the direction of uh, this very, very bearish B. And uh, although we cannot be certain that it's going to break down that badly, um, it is in a tight range. The price action definitely, definitely doesn't rule out the possibility that we are looking at the B that will eventually crash. I mean, we'll send, we'll send gold crashing in a massive sea that would see it easily uh, going towards uh, 700. Do you see the next level of support is right here, 700, 600. That's GLD, so you have to put a zero. Yeah, you have to add zero to the price uh, pattern here. Uh, and that, uh, in my opinion, is not around the corner. Okay, it looks like it needs several more months of sideways price action. Um, we will discuss the critical levels uh, for you to uh, pay attention to. Obviously, the most critical level is the bottom uh, registered uh, in late 2015, in December 2015. That's extremely important. Okay, but there are already levels that uh, could be quite helpful in the analysis. Uh, for example, this one. This one, okay, so we uh, decide that we are going to watch these two levels. Is very critical. This will be already first alarm. It's a very, very serious alarm. We'll discuss it in a sec. Uh, and uh, if we crash through these two levels, uh, do not uh, dream that that's going to be something of just uh, one month. It's not going to happen. It's going to be a long, longer lasting drop. It's going to be a drop that will be with us for quite a few years. Yes, it's going to be... Uh, an absolute nightmare to those who could just can't bear the thought that gold could fall. Uh, but the wave count is there. Um, our job as analysts is to uh, review both sides of the coin and to continuously, continuously review the odds as the price action is delivering more and more signals. And we are, our job is to map that some use the Elliott Wave principles, some use a different um, tools. Um, you know, the, at the end of the day, it's all a question of mapping the odds and seeing when do you think, when do you judge that it's a good time to get in uh, short, long, stay on the sidelines, etc. Okay, here's the weekly. Now look, what, what I see here is perfectly supporting this bearish B. I had the big A terminating here, which was actually five legs. Okay, uh, I have here an ABC. Okay, I have an ABC, fine, that gives me an A, that gives me a B, that's an ABC, looks to me set in place, uh, so that's my C. Now, what I need is in the next several months to see it coming down, and then another flip for, for again, a few months, and then the critical level remains right here. Okay, so you may want to uh, uh, put it, uh, yes, on your chart, indicate that if it breaks under this level, this is grave. It's definitely not good news. Definitely not. Not good news for the bulls uh, if gold breaks this level. Okay, I think it shows me here that it's uh, roughly 1,060. Okay, 1,060. Check this on your chart. Uh, so that's basically the general idea for this very bearish wave count. Okay, that's uh, gold, 60 minutes, continuous contract. Uh, sorry, that's the spot, but uh, with the line line style. Okay, the 60 minutes, I brought up the, the line style to help me to sort out a bit the noise of the spikes that I had here. Um, that could work out as a 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, and it could be now in the fourth wave, sideways price action that will generate uh, the, I mean, prepare the, the way for the fifth leg okay so then we will have a perfect five leg run terminating roughly at 100 and 1255 1250 or so and then sideways price action and prepare for a bigger drop okay that's the idea in the next uh, two weeks uh, if this wave count is correct we're going to go down deep down go sideways maybe have a slight pop like that i don't believe it's going to climb 
back above 1280, 1280 I think that's going to be too much strength. So my thing is going to be capped, any rally would be capped roughly to 1277 or so. Okay, and then when uh, it will fail to mount a substantial recovery, um, it'll crash back and break through the floor here and go a lot, a lot lower. So this is um, gold in the 60 minutes. Now here's silver, and here I'm going to uh, discuss the possibility of the bullish alternative. And that is that uh, given that we are still in a sideways price, uh, I mean market that is locked in a sideways price action, uh, you know, we can advance arguments for the bulls and we can advance arguments for the bears. Uh, but the important thing is uh, that we have to... Uh, uh, keep an eye on the critical levels that could potentially trigger the first um, the first alarm and give us some really valuable um, um, advanced knowledge of what is likely to happen. Uh, okay, so this is uh, silver on the monthly scale. And uh, as you can imagine, I'm taking this to be one leg, having, uh, let's have a look here, one leg like this. Okay, that's you. That's you. Uh, the, the end of basically the end of the decline, and that is corrective. So that's you A, that's you B. The thinking is going to go up in a C that could be quite exciting. But we don't have yet a lot, a lot of confirmation to go by. Basically, that's going to give us a triangle that will set the stage. Yes, set the launching pad here for it to go a lot higher, and that is the interpretation. So that's UA, and then it starts with uh, ABC, X, ABC, that gives you an A, and what happened now is basically an ABC that terminates, give us, gives us the B. Now, do you realize that there's just a slight modification here, uh, and that the whole thing suddenly looks up? In the case of uh, the interpretation of gold, GLD, what I did, I did this. I took this as an A, this is a B, and now imagine to yourself a C right here, which is in blue. So what you're going to have is an A, B, C, D, E. So that will be the end, and then gold will crush. Okay, but here, it's just a slight twist, and look, suddenly the whole thing is different. Now, you might, say, you might think that I'm trying to play both sides of the coin without taking a decision. Well, that's the wrong way to think about it. That's the wrong way to think about it because you cannot deny the, the fact that we have on the screen here that the market is locked in a sideways price action. Do you want to argue with that? Argue with the screen. Argue with, uh, with the price action itself. It's just there. There is nothing you can do about it. It's right there. Do you see? We don't have a breakout. We don't, we don't have a breakout through that and we don't have a breakdown through here. So what, what, do you, what can I say? This is right there. So yeah, I can advance the argument that this is an A, that's a B, it'll go down. If it breaks through this level, then, they, then we have news. We have news. It'll alter the balance of forces and definitely make the whole thing look very, uh, very bearish. Okay, um, I hope you are, you are with me on that. Uh, we are, I think, right now um, still looking down. We should continue to look down for several more weeks. Okay, um, let's have a look now at the daily. So that's an A, the straight up here, that's an A, that's B, that's a C. Okay, with this being one, two, that's three, that'll be a four. So uh, we are not done. We are not done with this big drop. No respite for now. No respite for the, for the, um, for the bulls. Because um, the bears are rejoicing. That's a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 ABC potential right here. That's a 3. If I'm right, that's going to go sideways. And like in the case of gold, I've shown you gold is also at a fourth wave. Yes, working on a fourth wave, uh, requiring a one more drop to complete those five legs. It's very possible we have the same situation they are developing here. After which, uh, we should see sideways price action. And we haven't finished with a bear. Because, uh, look. I think it could drop towards 16.8. Sorry. I'm looking for this. It could drop 
to 16.8, 16.7, and then expect a rebound, a correction basically to this drop, and absolutely no way that this interpretation can accommodate a run above uh, 18.65. No way. If that happens, then it flips the whole thing, then we are going to have to start talking bullish. But right now, this is what I think is more in line with what could happen here. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, that's your A or one. Okay, that's an ABC, it's going to come down and continue with that slide. 